One woman is facing criminal charges after she allegedly faked having a terminal disease. Check this out. 25-year-old Jessica Marie was arrested on felony theft charges after telling co-workers she was diagnosed with terminal cancer. Co-workers and friends donated more than $10,000 to help her battle the disease she claimed to have. Her supporters paid her bills, ran her errands, cleaned her house, and even held fundraisers and raffles. But when colleagues took a look at surveillance video of when she claimed to pass out on the floor at work, the footage showed her laying on the floor texting. And when the elevator door opened, she dropped her phone. This begs the question, whether it's money or attention, just how cold-hearted can people get? Wow. Yeah. True team, wow. what say you? Okay, this one is a little bit different from the last one. So there's Munchausen by proxy, which means that you're faking an illness in another person. Then there's Munchausen, which is you're mm -hmm. faking the illness in yourself. But the core of the issue is that people who have Munchausen's are really just faking that illness for attention, for sympathy, for love. When there's an actual objective, like she's getting money from this, that's not Munchausen's, that's just a criminal. thief. Yeah, that's just <laughs> criminal, criminal. That's yeah. just a lying thief, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, she took over $10,000 of her coworkers, family, friends, raised all this money, went to Disney but World. But had them coming to the house, right. cleaning, cleaning up, up up, yes. doing all kind of stuff. Yes. Yes. Elaborate scheme I mean, here. That's, this isn't wow. just a person faking an illness. She has this whole scheme going where she has her, you know, her employer involved, her employees involved, and apparently she never could produce a diagnosis to her employer you know, that verified that she even had cancer. And think about all the people that really do have cancer. Right. Yeah, you know, exactly. There are yeah, people who are back. really well, sick that do need the help from their coworkers and who would need someone to clean their house, yeah. help them pay some of their bills. And now someone like this, you're gonna have questions the next time you hear about a story that's a legitimately ill person. Stories like this will make you think twice about helping someone who really needs the help. Yeah. That's agreed, why these agreed, stories are agreed. so bad. Well, that, that leads me to my favorite saying though, karma a... is a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so don't pretend you got something because it just might come so back I, and bite you yeah. in the butt. So yeah. Judge Mary, have you ever done any creative sentencing when you see somebody like this where there's obvious deceit and just aside from fines and prison time, maybe there's something else that well, they should be want, doing? Well, uh, you know, creatively, send them to work for the for charity. Send yeah. them to, to feed the poor. Yeah. You know, send them to do charitable things. Well. Or send them to a hospital to work where cancer actually, patients people are, are dying. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. that, yeah for her to Absolutely. actually see, mm -hmm. you know, what cancer really looks like right. up right. close. And why you but just I think get a little fake this. jail first, and then we'll do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just don't get how people now, they just try a scam. Like, why Why do that? Yeah, I know. It's like, just make your money the old fashioned way. Yeah. Don't get a job and make yeah. your money. I, I think with this particular individual, she was so willing to go so far. Mm. So even though she couldn't produce a diagnosis, anytime anybody questioned her, she would have something at the ready. In fact, she even shaved her head. I was gonna so say that, that too. Like what was she saying that day? Oh, today I had chemo. Yeah. yeah. How bad. I mean, but, and I also wonder, like, I wonder, did she even go far enough, like, with the weight loss? And, you know, because right. most people, when they're going through treatment, they get very gaunt and, yeah. and everything. Yeah. You'll Thank God for technology. So somebody busted her because they videotaped her having this fake fallout. <laughs> 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 yeah. So the fact that she was texting, you know what That's I mean? Oh, awesome. let me just get down here. Okay, so check it out. I'll see y'all for lunch. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, the door opens up. Oh, money. Yeah. Or she's checking the account for something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Scams goodness. and lies. Yeah. Okay.